on the last episode of Summer Found Me. Nice. Okay, good luck, Ben. And don't even think about chickening out. I will seriously break into your house tonight and strangle you. Holy crap. May the romance continue. Hey guys, this is Lady Rowan back with another episode of Summer Found Me. Um, last week we left off, we talked to our um, geekish friend, and then we tried confessing our love to our crush, but we weren't able to do it because he wouldn't be in town for the next two days. But he has a secret plan, so I don't know, maybe he's doing something weird. So now we're in our high school, and something's going on. First, I didn't understand what they were saying, so I got a little closer. It wasn't me. You started it. You came at me first. Think I'm gonna let that go? Come here, punk! It wasn't me! You think you're all that, huh? Who do you think you're messing with? Ugh! Who's getting beat up? Someone's getting beat up, what should I do? Um, do something stupid! A knot was forming in my throat, but I swallowed hard. The choice was made. I, qui I walked quietly toward the place. The voice for where the voices came from, staying near the wall. I saw some shadows moving. But they seem to be just beyond the corner of that building. See, I, I, in real life, I probably would have checked out to see if there was anything I could do. I'm not the type of person to run away. And I, yeah, that's pretty stupid because you guys shouldn't do that. If you see anybody getting beat up, you call 911 and you tell, like, and you try to tell other people so it can be avoided next time. Or you scream and maybe it'll alarm them. I don't know. You do something, but you don't go see what's up. Don't do what I'm doing. The boy, whose voice sounded familiar, had stopped talking. The other one was still yelling and hitting him. I saw a glass bottle on the ground. I figured he'd make for a, a weapon like in the movies. What am I even doing? Why didn't I just go home? Because I am stupid. I tried breaking the bottom against the wall. Oh no! Unfortunately for me, the damn thing shattered into a million pieces, leaving me with just the neck, of course. And of course made a sound. Crap! Ugh! This was just a warning. Next time you're dead, boy. I heard some running away. I dropped what was left of the bottle and took a peek around the corner. I bet it's that other guy. To my surprise, I recognized the person laying on the ground, blood dripping from the corner of his mouth. What the hell happened to the art here? <laughs> Delvin! I hurried to his side and knelt down trying to inspect the wounds. I couldn't see much, so I took out my phone, shining its screen on his face. Who, who the? What are you doing? He didn't seem in critical condition. I turned off the light. It's me. What the hell are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Get out of here. Is that how you treat the person who just saved you? I'm fine. Your face begins begs to differ. You look all effed over. You kind of look like a vampire right now. <laughs> Little yellow eyes and your blood out of the corner of your mouth. Yeah, you definitely look like a vampire right now. Shut your pile! You sure told me. Delvin tried to stand, but fell back down. Take my hand. See, now he looks... Di <laughs> it's weird. The art is, is, you know, I feel like the art should stay consistent towards the whole game, but you know what, I'll, I'll make... I'll let, I'll let it slide. What is that? Cotton? I don't know. Just when I, th just when I thought oh, he was going to snap at me again, he grabbed my outstretched hand, mumbling something that sounded like a thanks. Can you walk home? I'm not dying. You just punched me a couple times, okay? Okay. It's not like I've ever been punched, so I wouldn't know. I pulled out a tissue from my bag and tried to wipe away the blood. He shot me a look, so I just handed the tissue to him and let him do it himself. What are you even doing around here? I was just going home when I heard some suspicious noises. What did you do? So you just decided to fight off the guy? Are you stupid? You never answer my questions, do you? You couldn't gotten yourself into a lot of trouble, idiot. Guess not. I helped Delvin walk for a few minutes. After that, he said he didn't need me, even though I could see he was still in pain. I beat up his brother. What? That's what I did. I was really ups I was really upset, so I was just taking a walk to clear my thoughts, you know. Then this retard and his friends came out of nowhere. I don't know what the hell he was saying. They were all drunk or something. He wanted to fight me, so I beat his ass. That guy just now was his brother, apparently. Oh, I guess he's a lot better than his younger brother. No kidding. 
So what what were you upset about? Earlier you said earlier you said that's why it trailed off. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. No need to be sarcastic, asshole. Uh, I don't know, I'm just all girls are attracted to assholes at some point. I mean look at him. He's just a gentle soul on the inside. Just someone to be cuddled up with. <laughs> Best conversation ever. We walked the rest of the way in silence. I was thinking of saying something when we arrived in front of, in front of our doors. Well, I... See ya. And just like that, he went inside. I stood there for a few seconds. Just as I was taking out my keys, I began to hear voices from inside his apartment. It seemed as if his dad was yelling at him. I couldn't hear his voice, so I don't know if he was defending himself. What kind of father yells at his son when he comes home all beat up? I was feeling a little weird after the day I, I'd had. I couldn't say I was excited about wasting another day without resolving my biggest issue of my life, but I was pretty tired, so I went straight to bed. Yeah, I can imagine. So how should I waste today? I wish I could sleep for another 24 hours so that I could finally be out of but and get this load off my chest. At the same time, I wish I would slow down so I'd never have to face him. Am I being weird? Do I need, someone, some, do I need to talk to someone to take my mind off things? I checked my messenger only to find Seth was offline once again. This isn't like him. Ring ring. Hello? It's Rowan. What do you want? You weren't online. Are you avoiding me? Not all of us sleep until noon and then complain they're bored. Some of us, some of us, and here I need me to act some actual work. I bet you he's like an author, like a real author or something. Or maybe he's like a manga artist or something. That's usually the case. I don't know. People will seem to find themselves having to hide that. Well, I am kind of bored. You're always bored. Unless you talk about your precious boyfriend. Yeah, so what did you want again? I have nothing to do until tomorrow when I can call him. And I'm supposed to be someone who cares? Nah. Did you just say nah? No. But I heard you say- No! Hey, don't get upset, Kiki-chan. Soon you'll be ending your sentences with Dr. Bio. Dr. Bio. Am I saying that right? I'm sorry, Japanese people. <laughs> I am not amused. You're a little amused. Hmm. Wanna go somewhere? Not really, I'm kinda of busy. Oh, okay. Sorry, you should practice kissing Aldo on your pillow again. What? Did Cherry tell you that? I am so killing her. Was it a secret? What did you think? Practice makes perfect, and I've seen your pillow. It's pretty hot. I don't blame you. <laughs> That's awesome. I hate you both. I hate you two guys. Near the pillow. Alright. <coughs> I have to go back to my important work now. Yeah, you definitely, like, he's one of the secret authors or whatever. I bet. Is it spreading people's secrets around? Because you're doing a good job of it. Stop whining, Rowan. You're even less attractive when you do that. Bye, smartass. Bye. I don't know. He's kind of a bigger douche than the other guy. Ugh. What do I do now? At least the time on the internet for a while. It's amazing how time flies when you look at videos of cats doing funny things. <laughs> Cat videos. We all know what that's like. I opened up my messenger, but no one was on. I decided to catch up on what Alvin was doing by checking his friend face page. He wasn't in town, just as he said, but just one update since yesterday for the cell phone. It says, we're up to number three. What's that supposed to mean? Number three what? Beers he, beers he drunk? Girls he's... <laughs> yeah, right, he's not that kind of guy. Time is going, slow, it's going so slow. I wish he'd just come already. I'm going to take a nap. That's as close to speeding up time as I'm ever going to get. Later that night... Today wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I managed to keep myself occupied. The waiting didn't kill me after all. Tomorrow is THE day. Better yet, THE day version 2.0. I feel kind of happy and nervous at the same time. I hope it goes well. As long as he doesn't hate me afterwards, I'll consider it going as well. that. I should go to bed soon. But first, maybe I'll go online a little bit, see what my peeps are doing. <laughs> peeps. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Ooh, Cherry's on. Let's kick her ass for talking about me kissing the pillow. Hey. 
Hey there. Sup? I have some exciting news. Tell me, tell me. Well, you know all of us were always talking about how we're going to have one last party before we all go our separate ways? A super awesome epic party? Not really, no. What the hell? What have you been smoking? Why am I not surprised? Well, anyway, it's happening. And we're going, of course. In fact, all the seniors are going. Well, that's just great. What is? Don't you want to go? If Alden rejects me, I don't want to see him anytime soon. That was the point. He won't. You know him. He's going to be nice about it. That's the kind of guy he is. You should know that. You're right. Tell him something. Tell me something I don't know. So when is the epicness that is this party happening? Sunday. Hmm. What day is it today? Wednesday. Don't worry. There's time to pick your outfit. At least for me. You should get working on it. Oh, at least for me. You should get working on it. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. Well, anyway, I'm going to bed. Yep. You need your beauty rest. I understand. Bye. Bye-bye. Sleep tight. Less than three. Cherry pie is now online. Offline. Now I am really going to bed. Day four noon. Despite being exciting, excited about the meeting Alden today, I slept like a baby all night, and then I slept some more. Is it that late already? I went to the bathroom to freshen up before calling Alden. I know he can't see me, but I just can't. I just can't sound confident when I'm wearing my pajamas. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, it's me, Lady Rowan. God dang it! I keep saying Lady Rowan. It's me, Boo Ellen. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Just ignore me every time you do that. I know, I saved your number last time you talked. I was expecting your call. Oh, so you remember. Of course I do. So, you, can I see you today? Sure, actually, I was about to go out. If you don't mind coming with me to the park, we can meet up there. That's great. Just come whenever, and I'll be there in a few hours. For a few hours. Okay, um, is anyone else going to be there? No, just me. What are you going to do in the park alone? I won't be alone. You'll be there, right? Um, well, yes, I meant, huh. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Yes, so. I couldn't stop smiling at that point. Just hearing his voice and his laugh made me feel like we've been friends for years. See you soon. I'll be waiting. The question is, how soon? If I get there too early, no, it won't look good. But if I go too late, that means less time to spend with him. I'll just decide after I get ready. In the, in the end, my dilemma worked itself out. Just searching for the right clothes took me longer than usual. In the end, I went with a knee-length blue sundress. It was the only one I had, and Alvin seemed like he'd go for someone more feminine. Ugh, I hate dresses. I even put on some makeup, which I don't usually do. When I finished getting ready, an hour had already passed. Perfect. Unfortunately for me, looking feminine is one thing and acting feminine is the other. I tried to calm myself down and walk slowly, even though I wanted to break out into a run. Running isn't very ladylike at all. I can't meet out and I'll flush and sweaty. In reality, I, I'm the kind of girl that would, if I got dressed up for a guy, I would act. I would still act like myself. You know, I'm, I'm never the type of person to act like something I'm not. Because my philosophy is, if they don't like you for you, then I don't want to. I don't want you, you know. Just how do I say this? If they don't want me for me, then it's not someone I want to be with. You know. Anyway, before we, we start this epic confession, we're going to end the episode here for today. So that's it for today, guys. Hit a like and favor if you enjoyed this episode. Hit the subscribe button if you want to join the aristocracy of the company, Mr. Crack, like me. Until next time, guys. Catch you later.